Hello Hattrickers, today I'm bringing you a little video about the spreadsheet I've made in order to compare assets in two of my clubs and generally just to um, get a summary of the assets in a club. And I've had a few people asking about the different sheets I use in order to organize my Hattrick team. They're not all that advanced to be honest and I thought why not gather a few of the sheets in a bundle for you guys to show and give you a download link which will be available in the description of the video. But uh, let's have a look at the sheet and what it does. Okay, so the first part of the sheet is the budget tab. And this is basically arranged in 16 weeks, just like the hat trick season. And what you do is you just enter whatever figure needs to be in all of these, and it will automatically update. Down here, you'll see that in this example, I've transferred a negative of 300,000 euros last season. If I change this to a positive figure, all the interest will be removed. The thing is, if I enter a very large fee in the player wages, for instance, let's just try with uh, 500,000 and another 500,000 for the stadium maintenance, you'll see that we'll go into the negative and it'll automatically calculate all the interest. I don't uh, advise going into depth like this, but uh, this should be usable for all of your clubs and you could just make another copy for each of the clubs. So why would you actually make a budget like this? Well, at some point you might expect movements up and down in your balance and you can actually see when is it sustainable to make an investment in the squad or other things. Again, most of this will be based on your ability to project correctly from season to season. This all, of course, depends on whether you are ascending towards the top of your divisions or descending after you have actually competed and are coming back down for a rebuild. So that's the first tab. Let's have a look at the training tab as well. The training tab is uh, not that smart. Basically, it's just for a visual representation of all your players. So this is where you update the name. This is just an indication that it's a homegrown player and you could always just add more. What I've done is I've added icons for all the different specialties for you guys to use in your own overview sheet. So that's a pretty simple sheet here. The final tab is the assets tab. And in this example, this is just comparing two clubs. But in theory, you could just go with one if you just want to look at one club. Here I have two of my clubs listed. If I want to do another comparison, I could just add it here and I could change the figures. As long as you don't change anything in the order, it would automatically update. But you have to pay attention if you want to add another player, for instance, player eight here. What I'll start out by doing would be to just borrow the player from player seven, change it to player eight. The profit is all right, but the thing is we need to add F12 to this calculation. F12. And now we have the total updating. Obviously you'll run into a little issue if you add just another player, but I could show you as well. I would copy both of these cells and enter them below. I will then turn player eight into player nine like this. And again, we have to add F12. You'd have to, you'd have to pay attention to what cell you need to add in order to update it because uh, honestly, it's a little crude like this, um, the sheet. In, in that way, it's no way magical. It adds a nice overview of uh, different builds and the assets within your squad. So this is all the tabs of uh, this little hat trick deed that I've been sharing with you. If you want to use it, you can download it from the link in the description. You can either choose to export it to Excel or save it on your own Google Drive or whatever file format you would choose to use. I hope it's of use to you and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thank you for watching.